Well, 36 years ago today, a tornado tore through Los Angeles, flipping cars, hurling debris, and ripping part of the roof right off the LA Convention Center. It's a scene of destruction normally reserved for the Midwest, but meteorologist Anthony Honest joins us now with how it happened here. And on that day, the weather pattern was incredibly rare, but it did happen, and these are the elements that caused that tornado 36 years ago. First of all, you have this area of low pressure and this tropical moisture moving through. That's the same type of pattern that we have moving in tomorrow. The difference is we had cold air coming in from the north. Now we've seen this a handful of times uh, this winter when we've seen some really heavy snow and even just a couple of weeks ago when you had the snow in Malibu and Santa Clarita. The difference with this pattern on March 1st, 1983, and we haven't had this uh, really all winter long and I've just been thinking the last four years we haven't had when we've had these systems move through an area of high pressure that brought in this warm, humid air. So you had conflicting air masses and what that that did was it created nearly a four mile long uh, tornado that went along the uh, I-10 freeway or, or along the 110 freeway and crossed I-10 and almost made it all the way into downtown. So again, very rare, uh, but it did happen. It would have been rated an EF2 because you had wind speeds of 111 to 135 miles per hour uh, and also based on the damage. Now to get a tornado, you need lift and instability. So that creates the rain. The instability is what creates lightning and thunderstorms. The one element that's very rare to have here in Southern California is shear. And you got the shear because of these conflicting air masses that twisted the winds, that stretched the atmosphere. So that really is the key of why this tornado formed. Nine fatalities, 150 buildings damaged. And Mike and Carol and Michael and Carolman, I, I want you to realize this can happen again. The big question is where in Southern California and when? Yeah, but Anthony, there are a lot of factors that need to come together for a repeat, not only with our weather here, but the weather, what, in states surrounding California, right? And as I was just mentioning, I showed you a lot on that map that showed all of the different elements. And so, again, it is very rare, but those elements will come together again someday. All right, we appreciate it. Yeah, we'll, we'll be prepared, perhaps. Exactly. Let's, let's go up to check.